Drake. 31. Shaw has a way with the ladies, and it appears he's found his newest conquest in 20-year-old up-and-coming British singer Ray. She approached him via social media according to the UK's son, with a request to listen to her music. Their insider claims he was clearly impressed by her songwriting talents and when they met to record, it quickly became obvious it wasn't just her music he was interested in. There. Source continued, it's early days but the pair have already been out on a string of dates, with Drake taking her to his favourite restaurant, Nova Berkeley in central London. He's got form for dating the hottest and most up-and-coming stars in the world so Ray isn't reading too much into it, they're just having fun at the moment. We've got five things to know about Ray. 1. Ray is her professional recording name. Her real name is Rachel Keane but shortened her handle to her nickname for her status as a singer-slash-songwriter. Her mother is Ghanaian and Swiss while her father is English. Ray attended a prestigious London Performing Arts School. She attended the Brit School for Performing Arts and Technology for two years before dropping out, later saying she felt confined, despite learning an extensive amount. The school has had many famous graduates including Adele actor Tom Holland and late singer Amy Winehouse. 3. Ray dropped her first original music at the age of 16 after leaving the Brit School. In 2014, she released her debut EP Welcome to the Winter, which featured her first single, Flowers. Ray also appeared as a guest artist on several high-charting songs in the UK. She featured on Jonas Blue's 2016 hit By Your Side and Jax Jones's single You Don't Know Me, which made it to number three on the British charts in early 2017. 4. Ray is also a songwriter. She co-wrote Charlie X's After the After Party and Snake Hips and Moe's Don't Leave. She said that working with Charlie was inspiring and she hopes to follow in the same type of career path. Ray grew up a fan of Stevie Wonder and gospel music. In a 2017 interview, she revealed that, The first thing I was really fed as a kid was gospel music and church music. I remember being so stupidly young, like three or four, my parents used to go every weekend. She added that her dad was a massive Steve Wonder fan and always played his music around their house growing up. She also said learning about legendary singer Nina Simone was a revelation to her.